Hello everyone and welcome to another session of the Demon's Corner. Tonight we will be graced with a reading of a fanfic courtesy of Heartless09. The fanfic in question is titled Crisis in Ponyville. As to who wrote it, well that's a surprise for those of you who haven't been shared the info yet. So enjoy. Excellent. And we're live. Greetings, views. Greetings, cretins of YouTube. This is Starstream. Decepticon. Second in command. <laughs> and I'm here with a bunch of worthless piles of flesh known as humans. Yeah. And we are going to. Don't call Blue Midnight worthless. You're all worthless to me, and only to me. You will read the fan fiction. Goody, what's the what fan fiction? The one below you. Oh yeah, Pi <laughs> pardon. Crisis in Ponyville. Yeah, I see no link of that. <laughs> it's yeah. all in text in the uh, text section. Of Oh. Yeah. Oh, that looks nice to read. Now then, read the fan fiction while I just make fun of you. Ah, crap. So who's reading it? Yes, look at me reading it. Mm. Well, I'm busy eating something. Uh, well, don't be busy, because you'll be the one reading it. Godspeed, man. I didn't say I was going to read it. <laughs> yeah, you're back. Oh, fine, I'll read it. Yeah, I like it when you're alive. Anyways. Is who's recording? Who's I'm recording. recording. Recording now? Yes. Good, then. Chapter 1. My name is Twilight Spark. Uh, uh, uh. I am yeah. now. Uh, uh. Sorry about My name is Twilight Sparkle. I am known as Princess Sel Celestia. Yes, Celestia. Yes, Celestia. Yes, Celestia. You really want to play to play. I need to be right back. Let's continue then. Yeah. My Monday started out like any other Monday with Spice. And my friends! Rarity, Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack. As we were preparing for another visit from Princess Celestia. We were getting everything set up from the decorations to cleaning my house as Mr. and Mrs. Cake were cooking the food. Everything, everything seems to be going along perfectly. I trust that things are going well for the rest of the princesses, Trixie yeah, asked. No, I here. really don't get the point of this whole... Wait a minute. Oh, it... Sorry, I was talking out loud. Um, what was it? Oh, yeah. The fan fiction. Continue reading. Trixie asked as she appears behind Twilight with a small, dark... <clears throat> small, dark, blue fi filly stands next to her. It's going well, Twilight replies as she turns her attention to Trixie and the small filly. Can I help you help on me? The small filly asks as she approaches Twilight. Of course you can, Midnight, Twilight replies as she graces Midnight with a smile. 
Yes, she can help me get the snacks ready, Pinky states, as she hopes as she ho- hops, sorry, hops past Twilight, Trixie, and Midnight. Okay, Midnight replies, as she follows Pinky. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, um, something happened in the back. Anyways, um, as she follows Pinky Pie towards the kitchen. I hope everything goes well, Twilight mutters with an anxious expression on her face. You worry too much, dear. Everything will work out just fine, Trixie says as she stands next to Twilight. Yeah, you might be right, Twilight sighs, before making her way to Pinkie Pie at midnight. Oh, goodness, this is going to take ages. Elsewhere in a land far, far away, a huge muscular, muscular man wearing a red cape and skull on his head sat on a throne made of stone. Alongside him, a bald man with white skin who wears black pants and another man with long black hair, a beard, red guard stands before him. Chang Song! What the fuck? <laughs> what? Are you shitting me? What? Is this, is this My Little Pony with fucking Mortal Kombat? Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Keep reading. Keep uh, reading. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, guys. That's all I'm waiting for. <laughs> Let us proceed with creating another portal to the Earth realm. Uh, the skull wearing man commands as he rises from his throne and approaches his allies. Of wait, wait, how did you know it was Shang Tsung? It just said that. Yes, that's what it says. Know. And welcome back, Blue Midnight. I got licorice. Yay! <clears throat> of course, Master Shao Kahn. Both men reply in unison. You know, of course, Shao you know Kahn. Be, <laughs> of course, Emperor. Or something oh. like that. Oh, my. Emperor Shao Kahn. Holds up a scepter that glows as a portal forms in front of them as Quan Chi and Shang Tsung use their magical energy to expand the portal. Cease this action at once, Shao Kahn, for you know how this is against the pact that I'm made by the elders, right in states. As he stands beside Elder Gods. Elder Gods. It just says elders. Fine, Elder Gods. <laughs> Raiden states as he stands behind Shao Kahn, while accompanied by Luke Hey Kang, Katana, Johnny Luke Kang. Luke Did you all, you almost said Luke Hey? But I didn't, so ha. Huh? Striker stands to aid him. I refuse to obey those wretched fools, Shao Kahn exclaims as he hurls his hammer at Ray, Ray Dan, Ray Dan, who evades it by leaning forward, leaning backwards, sorry. Dude, why didn't you screw the rules? I have a hammer. That line would have been perfect. Johnny Cage states. Ah, he turned him into a fucking um mimic meme fanboy. Well, as he turns into to Shao Kahn with a smirk, because this is not one of your Hollywood action fool films. Fool, Shang Tsung exclaims as he appears behind Johnny and knocks him to the ground with a kick. Shang Tsung! Liu Kang exclaims as he knocks Shang Tsung back. Shang Tsung wins. With a face to the face. We have a score to settle! Liu Kang declares as Shang Tsung kneeled and rubbed his jaw with his right hand. Ah, Liu Kang! So you've come to be killed by me again, have you? Shang Tsung asks with a confident grin. This time, Quan Chi will not be able to aid you in this fight, Liu Kang declared, before charging forward as he struck Shang Tsung with five kicks, causing him to kneel once more. That's where you're wrong, Quan Chi muttered as he channeled his energy into his hands. On the contrary, Liu Kang is right, Katana declared as she cut Quan Chi's face with one of her bands. For I shall be your opponent, Katana declares before Quan Chi charges in a fit of rage. Quan Chi threw five punches as Katana blow- blowed each one the fuck before she is knocked back with <laughs> five wait wait, 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 I had something. What happened? As Katana blowed each one before she is knocked back by a kick. 
It's supposed That's to be what blocked, it said. not blowed. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Meanwhile, Shao Kahn furish, ferociously swings his hammer seven times while Raiden uses his electrical abilities to block each strike. Wow, all this action and we're getting no piece of it, Johnny Cage mutters with his arms folded as he stands next to Stryker. Be careful what you wish for, Johnny, Stryker replies, before Johnny suddenly is sent flying three feet from Stryker. You just might get it, ha 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 ha, Stryker concludes as he pulls out a knife stick before Baraka leaps from behind and swings at Stryker as he blocks Baraka's wrist, wrist, wrist blades. Johnny Cage is struck three times before falling to his knees. Okay, what the hell is this? So now the wind can kick my ass? Johnny painted as he caught himself from falling forward. Johnny Cage then looked up to see Reptile appear before him. Oh, it's you, Johnny Chuckles says, replies, as Reptile replies with a glowing hiss. Reptile then vanished, vanished before knocking Johnny back with a kick to the face. Jesus. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Fucking Transformers Mortal Kombat fucking My Little Pony. This shit's unridiculous. <laughs> You're not making me read this shit. <sighs> Keep Continue reading. reading it. Keep Do otherwise, these two are gonna probably break me in my sleep. Yeah, elsewhere on a parallel earth, Optimus is fighting Megatron as he attacked another city. Megatron and Optimus are trading several punches before Optimus knocks Megatron to the ground with an uppercut to Megatron's straw. Surrender, Megatron! You will not win this fight, Optimus declares as he stands over Megatron. Never prime! Once I obtain the blood of Unicron, the world will soon be mine! Megatron declares as he tackles Optimus. Stars. Scream chases a Kree. Who the fuck is Kree? While shooting at her with with lasers, as she evades the shots by zigzagging, a Kree that transforms into robot mode. Is a, oh, see, I bet draws her pistols before shooting at Starscream as he stands and ascends into the air. A Kree then dashes forward towards Bulkhead oh as he God. strikes Breakdown with a right hook. Bulkhead, launch me! A Kree. Commands as she dashes towards Bulkhead. Launch you, Bulkhead ass, as he turns his attention to Akree. Launch me at Starscream. Akree commands as she points at the ascended Starscream. All right, Bulkhead confirmed as Akree leaps towards Bulkhead as her feet landed in the palm of Bulkhead's hands before she is hurled 60 feet into the air for Starscream. Akree then tackles Starscream as they crash into a 40 building as it crumbles to the ground. Meanwhile, Bulkhead and Bumblebee are engaged in combat with Breakdown and Soundwave as they take cover from the Decepticon's firepower behind a two-story building. Bumblebee then dodges rolls, dodge rolls out into the open while knocking down Soundwave with three shots from his cannon. Bulkhead then takes a car and hurls it towards Breakdown while Breakdown destroys the, 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 the car to these with a shot from his cannon before Bulkhead transforms into vehicle mode and rounds Breakdown. Once Breakdown lands on his back, knock knockout speeds towards Breakdown before leaping over him while somersaulting into robot mode before knocking Bulkhead to the ground with a kick to the chest. Knockout then draws his electrical rod uh, before he no, shuts down my Energon prong. As, it's called an Energon prong. Oh. Energon prong. As Bulkhead stands onto his feet. Ratchet and Bulkhead then charge towards Breakdown and Knockout while firing at them. In another parallel universe, Magus is having to stand off with the rat and his forces as a good person of Jersey City is wrecked. It should have been the Jersey Shore, but never mind. Prepare to surrender the prototype over to me, uh, sir. Who the fuck is sir? Otherwise, I will have to destroy you. Barath demanded as he aimed his cannons at Coop. No way, man, we're just getting started, Coop replied with a confident grin before charging at Gorath. Coop, what are you doing? Kiva screamed as Megas continues charging. Fire!